Hi, I'm James from Val White Marine, and today I'm going to show you around this Bayliner Sierra 2655 that's just behind me. Um, it is a very sunny day, so if I'm looking a bit squinty or a bit shadowy, I apologise for that. I'll get you on board as soon as possible, and hopefully things will look a bit better. I'll start your walk around standing on the swim platform of the boat. It's got really easy access through a transom door here with no steps up into this rear deck. Uh, there's your engine cover down there. Uh, there is quite a clever bench here that pops out. Uh, well, pops out, you could slide that out um, so that you've got a, a, a rearward facing seat uh, on that deck out over the boat. There's full height uh, camper covers so you can walk in through there. I've just got that opened up to give you um, a show of how well enclosed the boat can be if you want it to be. Port side, you've got an L-shaped seat that runs right the way around there. Then your navigator, uh, sorry, your helmsman seat on the starboard side. Um, just above that hatch and doorway through into the cabin, the midsection of the windscreen opens up so that you can work the forward deck of the boat by going up through there once that hatch is closed. Just to run you through the helm of this boat, it's all fairly standard stuff. Throttle over there um, is the boat has uh, trim tabs, so you've got the controls for that there, your breakers, and then all your gauges up at the top. I'll walk you down into the cabin. This boat would sleep four. Um, it's a fairly conventional layout for anybody that's used to looking at this kind of sports cruiser. You've got a bow seating area there, which has infill cushions that go in round there. So that converts into a double berth. Over on your port side, uh, you've got your galley, there's a two burner hob, your sink, your microwave, you've got your breakers and your stereo over there. Going around under the cockpit, you've got your second double berth, which tucks away quite nicely and just stacked up at the top there, your infill cushions for the bow that I just showed you. Back on the starboard side, you've got your fridge opposite the galley and then your door into your toilet compartment. For a boat of its age, it's really well looked after. I think you can see it's, it's pretty immaculate, to be honest with you. Um, there's your toilet um, and uh, there is natural light in here and a way that you can vent with that little port light there. As we come towards the end of the video, I will walk you back up through the boat just to give you an idea of how it works. Up the steps into the cockpit, you've got the L-shaped seat through and back out and you can just see how easy that access is there out onto the swim platform, um, either for boarding or for mooring. Quick run through on canopies. As I said, it's, it's standing height camper covers on there. Uh, the forward screen, side screens, and the rear screens all come out, and then you would end up with a bimini over the cockpit if it is really hot and sunny and you just want some shade. I've given you a fairly quick walkthrough on this Bayliner Sierra 2655. She is sitting on a trailer, which the vendor would sell by separate negotiation. She was anti-fouled and polished at the end of last season, so she really is a boat that's ready to go for 2020 and offers great value for money, in my opinion. We will put the link to it in the description and details or our contact details are on the website. So please get a hold of us and we will answer all your questions, take further photos and do whatever we can to help you from afar. Thank you.